My favorite book of all time is The Godfather by Mario Puzzo. Fantastic. My favorite book of all time, The Little Prince. Probably Viktor Frankl's um, Man's Search for Meaning. It's really touched me. I can read it over and over again. The Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman. It was a book that empowered me to look beyond the surface of life and really did inspire me to write this book. So I recommend it to anyone. My favourite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. I think everyone should read it because it uh, covers pretty much all facets of life. In Aura Gagaudis's Primal Body, Primal Mind, it is without a doubt a life-changing book and something that I believe every child in the world should read and then pass it to their parents and say, what have you been doing? The book at the moment I'm reading is Robbie Williams. Uh, I love him because he's an entertainer. Um, he's really out there personality. And I, I wanted to get to know about Robbie Williams uh, behind the scenes and not just uh, the front man. My favorite Robbie Williams song is probably Angels and Rock DJ. Probably, depending on what mood I'm sort of in, I can go with either. Well, actually, it's a it's a tough call between two. One was um, the Red Dog Clifford, and I just I, love I loved those. And the other one was the uh, the Hungry Caterpillar. Um, great story. Um, yeah, I still read them today. Yeah. Help me sleep. I saw that on the flight down. Yeah. Any of the Roald Dahl canon, but um, the one that I actually read till it fell apart was Italian Folk Tales by Italo Calvino because he always had really sassy princesses that were beating the boys, the princes and the kings at their own game and it was probably the first time I'd actually understood satire and yeah, just so clever and wonderful. I had a few. One was Maurice Sendak's Where the Wild Things Are because I loved that he, the, the boy in the book, befriended the monsters. So he actually had no reason to fear. Um, but probably my favourite book as a kid was The Ghastly Crumb Tinies by Edward Gorey. And it's how I learnt the alphabet. A is for Amy who fell down the stairs, B is for Basil assaulted by bears, C is for Clara who wasted away, D is for Desmond thrown out of a sleigh, and so on. One of my favourite books growing up as a child was Fish Out of Water by Dr Seuss. I think my favourite books as a very young child were Dr Seuss books. Dr. Seuss. Hmm. Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, the Hound of the Morrigan by Pat O'Shea. Giving an Aussie a plug, uh, Frank Morehouse's um, Grand Days because of the character of Edith Campbell Berry, one of our greatest Australian literary fictional characters. Um, mine would have been The Hobbit. Because um, you've got yucky toes. <clears throat> because I'm half Hobbit. Um, yeah, just a fascinating story, uh, lots of characters, um, really puts you in, an, in another world. So yeah, that was my favorite book growing up. The book I'd recommend is Michael Hussey, Underneath the Southern Cross. <laughs> I, I mean, really to be, and I will be honest about this one. I really think that people should read a book by Rabbi Alamadine. he's a Lebanese American. And the book is called An Unnecessary Woman. It is lyrical and beautiful, recommended by all the top writers of the world. Um, but it's about, um, it's about what is necessary in our lives and what we should remember and how we can fight against those things that will do us in and the rest of the world. Any book. Read a book, any book, it doesn't matter. Pick up a book and read it now. 